Lessons and this is the first of my TED Talks, uh, talks about anything to do with music and harps and they're named after Ted, my little friend here, who spends hours patiently waiting for me to finish practicing before we can go for a walk. So today's talk is going to be about this amazing little instrument. This is called a Winged Maiden Royal Portable Harp. And the originals were made by John Egan, who was a famous 19th century harp maker in Ireland, uh, famous for making classical pedal harps. And after the Belfast Harp Festival in 1792, there was a tremendous revival of interest in the Irish harp. And John Egan thought he would add this little instrument to his range and uh, make it look as Irish as possible. Are you off? Oh, he's sped up already. And. Uh, of course, it wasn't anything like the real Irish harps that took part in the festival because they were big, heavy, strong, dark instruments and strung with wire uh, because they were carried around on horseback and they were played with their fingernails. Completely different sort of uh, instrument, but he thought this would appeal to his aristocratic ladies for their evening soirees in their stately homes. So it's a really interesting instrument because it has a fantastic design. Look at all the little gold shamrocks down the side of the sandbox and on the pillar here. And this lady is supposed to be Hibernia, the female personification of Ireland. And um, I was aware that there weren't any playable originals left of these instruments. In fact, even the instruments themselves are pretty rare now. There's a few scattered around in museums. But I really wanted to know what this harp would have sounded like. So I managed to persuade Tim Hampson, the ha harp maker down in Devon, if he would come with me up to the Royal Academy of Music Museum and have a look at the original one that was there. And we're very grateful to them that they let us do that. And they let us measure it and examine it and take lots of photographs. And then Tim came up with this amazing instrument and I helped decorate it. I did the gold decoration and the gilding. And uh, so we ended up with this beautiful, little, unique instrument. And uh, I'm going to demonstrate the mechanism, but uh, there was another surprise while we were examining the original, and that is this little retractable leg, which I always thought of as being sort of a modern addition to a lever harp, but uh, no, they were obviously doing it at the beginning of the 19th century. So I'm just going to show you how the mechanism works. So uh, on a pedal harp you have seven foot pedals which change, which move the four shets at the top of the harp. Uh, here obviously you haven't got a foot pedal but you do have these uh, little dittles set in the column here and they work in exactly the same way as the pedals. So here is my A dittle here and here is my A string and that's A natural and if we just flip that one up it takes it to A flat and if I flip it back down again takes it back up to A natural and this way you can set the harp into different keys that you need um, and it works in just the same way as the foot pedals do on a pedal harp. So I'm now going to play a little piece from my album of Regency tunes that uh, come from a wonderful old book that I inherited from my godmother and it's a 19th century album of tunes from James Payne's band and he was a bandmaster who worked in the Carlton Club in London, which was one of the most popular and fashionable music and dance clubs in London at the beginning of the 19th century. And he produced these piano reductions of his dance tunes that people could take away with them at the end of the evening as a souvenir of their wonderful evenings dancing. So this is one of these pieces called Le Petit Montignard, and you can buy my little book of Regency tunes from the website. I will put the link up at the end of the video. So this is Le Petit Montignard. <laughs> 